Okay, we've got the white wires here. Now we're going to bunch them all together. You kind of have to overlap them and make sure they're all going to kind of line up together. So on your first trial, you hold them there, you may have to re-bend things and that kind of thing to make them all line up. If you have to, you might have to trim one, strip one, bend one, whatever, because the, the whole idea is you've got to get these all, all together in a nice, even location so you can put that wire nut on. Okay, very important to keep everything lined up when you put that on. I've just started this. I'm going to kind of hold on to this and start twisting this on. You want to make sure everything's pushed in there. If you have one that's not pushed in all the way, you could think you've got this wire nut tight, yet one of these could be loose. And there's always that possibility. So you want to make sure that all your tips are pretty much in line before you start putting your wire nut on. Okay, then turn this on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pliers. I'm not going to do it much tighter than that, but I mean, you can do this and get it on there a little bit tighter. You do it, you do it too tight with something like this, and I've, I've seen wire nuts actually break off a, a wire. So this is just to snug it on there. You can see that's a pretty big wire nut, but we've got a big enough box and we're going to situate that into that back end. So once we get to that point, we've got to take these wires and fold it over to push that into the box. As we're doing that, we're just going to take our finger and kind of hold it back in here to kind of help with this and push at the same time. We're folding it in. We want to get it push it into the back of the box. Try not to get your dirty fingers all over the nice wall. If you do, that's why you always carry a rag with it. Okay, so you're going to push that back in as far as you can. I figured I might as well give you a tip as, as I'm going along. I've pulled, the, I've pulled the white wires back out of this box. Uh, not trying to confuse you or anything. I've had that all tight. I've checked these wires, but um, for our cases, what I like to do, and I forgot to do it, but I'm, I'm glad I'm remembering and I'm telling you, most professionals, would, after they tighten this up, they put it in the box. Now sometimes, if the light switch doesn't work, that could mean one of these wires is slightly loose, or vibrations, what have you, uh, sometimes a wire nut can come loose. Now in order to prevent that, you can take electrical tape, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to wrap this. Uh, starting on the head, and I'm going to extend it on down um, to the wires. That way it's going to kind of keep these wires all bunched together so that hopefully the wire nut will never want to loosen up or anything like that. Now it's important as you're putting this on, put it on the same direction as you would tightening this so that when the, when the tape goes on, the tape is coming over this direction like you're tightening it up. That way, it's always kind of tightening on the wires. So uh, I'm going to do that now. I've got it on the wire nut first. Then I'm going to gradually go down over the wire itself. It's kind of tricky because I didn't have much room to work with. So if you want, you can pull this out, cut it off. Don't cut your finger. You cut that with uh, wire cutters too. You can use this and stretch it as you're going. Stretch it out, wrap it. You always want to keep the, 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 the tape tight. Stretch, wrap. Just remember that as you're going. Stretch it, then wrap it. Don't just think because you're going over it, it's, it's good because it, it's just going to be loose on there. So stretch, wire, the, the tape, electrical tape is stretchy so you can do that. Okay, so that's a good little tip to do. I like to do that on all my stuff. Okay? Okay, remember, as you're pushing this box in, this is, we put in a plastic cut-in box. It's only held by these little tabs. So if you push in really super hard, you could have a tendency to, to snap one of these little plastic tabs off or something like that. So just kind of be aware of that as you're going. Voila, no more white wires. Okay, we got that nicely put back in there. Now, we're ready to deal with the black wires. 
Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to bend those straight out here for right now. As you remember, we've got our, uh, I, put sheet, I, I put masking tape on our two wires. These are the lines that go up to the light switches and, and be, be aware of when you take out your existing light switches in the first place, make sure you mark those so you know which one is which. I've already done that. I put masking tape on there. I put a little black mark on this one so I know this one goes to the far left. So be aware of that or else you're not going to know what you're doing here. <laughs> 